Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer for Wednesday the 11th of May. Today we have two Psalms and a reading from Ephesians. So now let's join together in our evening worship. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Sovereign Lord, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed and radiant light is everywhere restored. As you call us out of the darkness into his marvelous light, may our lives reflect his glory and may our lips repeat the endless song. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Our first Psalm is Psalm 47. Clap your hands together, all you peoples. O sing to God with shouts of joy. For the Lord Most High is to be feared. He is the great King over all the earth. He subdued the peoples under us and the nations under our feet. He has chosen our heritage for us, the pride of Jacob, whom he loves. God has gone up with a merry noise, the Lord with the sound of the trumpet. O oh, sing praises to God, sing praises. Sing praises to our King, sing praises. For God is the King of all the earth, sing praises with all your skill. God reigns over the nations. God has taken his seat upon his holy throne. The noble peoples, the nobles of the peoples are gathered together with the peoples of God of Abraham. For the power of the earth belongs to God, and he is very highly exalted. Psalm 48 Great is the Lord and highly to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain is fair and lifted high, the joy of all the earth. On Mount Zion, the divine dwelling place, stands the city of the great King. In her palaces, God has shown himself to be a sure refuge. For behold, the kings of the earth assembled and are swept forward together. They saw and were dumbfounded. Dismayed, they fled in terror. Trembling seized them there. They writhed like a woman in labor as when the east wind shatters the ships of Tarshish. As we had heard, so we have seen in the city of the Lord of hosts, the city of our God. God has established her forever. We have waited on your loving kindness, O God, in the midst of your temple. As with your name, O God, so your praise reaches to the ends of the earth. Your right hand is full of justice. Let Mount Zion rejoice and the daughters of Judah be glad because of your judgments, O Lord. Walk about Zion and go around about her. Count all her towers. Consider well her bullocks. Pass through her citadels. That you may tell those who come after that such is our God for ever and ever. It is he that shall be our guide for evermore. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our reading this evening is from Ephesians chapter 5, beginning at verse 1. Therefore, be imitators of God as beloved children and live in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and a sacrifice to God. But fornication and impurity of any kind or greed must not even be mentioned among you as is proper among saints. Entirely out of place is obscene, silly and vulgar talk, but instead let there be thanksgiving. Be sure of this, that no fornicator or impure person or one who is greedy, that is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes on those who are disobedient. 
Therefore, do not be associated with them. For once you were darkness, but now in the Lord you are light. Live as children of light, for the fruit of the light is found in all that is good and right and true. Try to find out what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. For it is shameful even to mention what such people do secretly. But everything exposed by the light becomes visible, for everything that becomes visible is light. Therefore it says, Sleeper, awake, rise from the dead, and Christ will shine on you. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. And so we come to our time of prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we pray for our clergy as they carry out their work amongst the community. We pray for the times they visit schools to give assemblies, equip with them with the right words to speak your truth to young people. For the times they visit those suffering bereavement, may they bring the warmth and light of your love to those in mourning. For the times they speak to those who seek you, give them the right words to say to share your love and gospel and help seekers encounter you. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our council here in Redditch, following last week's local elections. We ask for wise and godly leadership, bless their work and guide their decision making to follow the values of your kingdom. As they govern our community, we ask that their choices protect the vulnerable, uphold justice and steward resources wisely. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we come before you fearful for our economy. We have known little but growth and prosperity, and now we face financial insecurity and an uncertain future. Grant that those in power may ensure that corporate greed is regulated and we are protected from corruption and folly. But perhaps more importantly, we pray that you would grant us your perspective on money, that all things come from you and of your own do we give you. May you be our hope, our security, our confidence and our future. May money be a tool we use to do good rather than an end to itself. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord Jesus, we pray for the church in our land and across our world. It would be easy to despair at the division, intolerance, lovelessness and selfish ambition which marks so much of the church. Give us faith that you have plans for church, that your kingdom is to come through it and that you will make it spotless and without blemish. And may we set our own sights on that hope. 
may your will be done in the church as it is in heaven. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us who trust in him from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things which are above where he reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Thank you for joining with me tonight. I hope you have a good evening. Tomorrow Richard will be, be, be with you here and I'll be back on Friday. Until then, stay safe. God bless you. Good night.